So welcome to Microprocessor Lab. So in this session, we are going to learn how to write an assembly language program to perform the division of a two unsigned numbers using 8086. The division operations can be performed on unsigned number and the signed numbers. So let us concentrate on the division of a two unsigned numbers. The mnemonics used to perform the division of a two unsigned number is DIV, register bar memory. So here are two types of divisions that can be performed. One is the divide a word by a byte, divide a double word by a word. So the first one is a 16 by 8 bit division. The second one is a 32 by 16 bit division. So in case of a 16 by 8 bit division, so the numerator is the dividend is an AX, the divisor is a byte in the register or from the location. So before the execution of DIV, the AX will have a dividend. After the execution, the quotient will be in AL, the remainder will be in AH. Let us take an example. Here we have two operand, data 1 and data 2. Data 1 is 7F and data 2 is 0EH. So now we are going to execute DIV BL. So this BL, the BL is 0E and AX is 007F. And here we are going to perform a 16 by 8 bit division. But here the data is what byte. So in case of byte, what the processor will do, it will take the value from AH. The 8 bit data will be converted to 16 bit. But we know that the number is a positive number. So the MSB bit is equal to 1. So in that case, AH is equal to 0, 0. So in the program, we have to load AH with 0, 0. So now the AX is 0, 0, 7F and BL is 0, E. So this is the calculation part. So we have taken 7F. We are going to divide with 0, E. So the quotient here is 9. The remainder is 1. So in case of a 32 by 16 bit division, which is nothing but divide a double word by a word, the dividend uh, numerator is in DX concatenating with AX. The divisor is a word in a register or from the location. So before the division, so we have to focus on DX concatenating with AX. After the division, so the quotient will be in AX, the remainder is in DX. Here also both the data is a 16 bit, but we are going to do what a 32 by 16 bit division. So we have to consider this DX. So in this case, the DX will be loaded with 00. zero. So DX colon AX will have a 32 bit number, which is nothing but the double word. We are going to divide with a 16 bit data from the register or from the location. The value will be in the quotient is in AX, the remainder is in dx. So this is the calculation part. Here we have taken two numbers 2244, the second number as d6. So using the long division method, we are getting the quotient as well as the reminder. So we know that dx we have to load with 0, 0. We know the number is a positive number. How MSB bit is equal to 0. Then ax is nothing but 2244. That is the example we have taken. And BX is 0, 0, D6. After the execution in AX will have 0, 0, 2, 8. In DX will have 0, 0, D4. And this is the program for 16 by 8 bit division. So when you start writing the program, we have to include the assembler directive. And we are telling the assembler the code segment is less than or equal to 64 KB and data segment is less than or equal to 64 KB. So for that, we have to go with dot model small. Then we have to initialize the data by writing the data segment data n this. Here we have taken the variable num1 and num2 and this is for the result for the quotient and the reminder. So we know that the number here is byte. So we have to go with define byte followed by number and num2 define byte followed by the number. For the here the result is the quotient and the reminder. So we have to use two variable for that. We have using a result as the out, output variable. Defining as a byte, 2, 2 is duplicating a copy of it. 2 copy of result will be duplicated. 
data and this a code we have to start with the code segment and we have to tell the assembler assume cs is nothing but code and ds is nothing but data so cs is the code segment and ds is the data segment afterwards we have to take the address of this data we have to assign to dx so through ax we are assigning the address of data to ds once this is done we have to take the number num1 load it to al and num2 we have to load it to bl and here we have to load ah with 0 0 so we have to go with mu ah comma 0 0 so once this is done we have to go with the division it's a unsigned division so we know the mnemonics for unsigned division which is nothing but div followed by register so we are getting the result which is nothing but the quotient and the remainder we know the quotient is in al the remainder is in ah so from al the value will be transferred to the result from ah the value will be transferred to result plus 1 once this is done we have to end the program using the dos service so we have to write mu ah comma 4ch and int 21h and end the code segment and end of the main so after typing the program we have to go with masm masm is the macro assembler file name dot asm semicolon so this will give the list of error if there is no error we have to move on to the next step if not if it is the error then we have to go to the previous step it which is nothing but just we have to go back to the editor window type correct the error then we have to come back to the next step so now we have to type link we are going to link the object file so link the file name dot obj semicolon so once this is done we have to move on to the next step which is nothing but debug file name dot exe executable file we are going to view it's which is nothing but the code view here we can able to see the instruction code for the mnemonics so these are the mnemonics and these are the instruction code and this is your code segment followed by the offset and here we have to give yeah here we have to give u which is nothing but unassembling after typing u we can able to go with the execution so we have to write g for go we have to give the starting address of the offset which is which is nothing but 0 0 and the end address of the offset here is 0 0 after typing this we can able to see all the registers present in 80 86 say here the code segment this is your code segment here the code segment address is 076 b we can able to see code segment is 076 b and the data segment is 076 a after the execution we have to go for display the result so for that we have to type d d for display data segment colon 00 so what are the two numbers we have taken the first number is 7f the second number is 0e this is the dividend and this is the divisor so we have the quotient and this is the remainder so we know for this example the quotient is 09 the remainder is in the remainder is 01 and already we told the data segment address is 076a we can able to verify this is your data segment and this is the offset how to see the output so in the program we have written in the place of quotient and remainder we have written what a result and the result plus 1 so we can able to see the result address is nothing but 002 the result plus 1 is 003 so in that particular location we can able to see the output so this is the quotient and this is the remainder we move on to the next one a 32 by 16 bit division so in this program also we have to go with a two numbers here we have taken a two number what is the difference when compared to the previous program in the previous program we have defined as a byte but in this program we are going to define as a word so we are going to perform a 32 by 16 bit division so in case of 32 by 16 bit we have to take dx with 0 0 so first we will see we have to go with the assembler directive dot model small so we have many models here we have huge a tiny a compact a large we know that okay for writing a simple program the code segment size should be less than or equal to 64 kb and data segment should be less than or equal to 64 kb so in case of large program we can take the code segment is greater than or equal to 64 kb or data segment of greater than or equal to 64 kb in that case we have to write dot models large 
After that, we have to initialize the data. We have num1, num2, define word, define word. These are the two numbers we have taken for calculation 2244 and 00d6. Then we are getting the result. Here the result is what? A double word. So we have taken dw2, which is nothing but the two copy of a word is created in the location. The space is allocated in the location. So once this is done, we have to go over the, take the address assigned to ds, take the first number, move it to ax. We know dx, we have to load it with 00, zero. take the second number, move it to bx. And we have to use the uh, mnemonics for unsigned division. And here the syntax is what? div bx. After that, we will be getting the result in ax and dx. The ax will have the quotient, the dx will have the reminder. Then we have to end the program. So we have to go with masm, the file name, dot asm, semicolon. Afterwards, we have to type link, a project file name, dot obj, a semicolon. So debug, a file name, dot exe. So this is what a code view, <coughs> executable file we are going to view. Then we have to go with u for unassembling. So we have to give the starting address and the ending address of this in 21H for the execution. So in the next step, in the next step for we have to go with G is equal to go equal to the starting address and the end address of the int 21H, which is nothing but 001A. Afterwards, we can able to see all the registers. Then we can able to view the flag register content here. So now we have to perform. This is the number we have taken, 2244. We know that when the data is stored in the location, first the LSB of the data will be going followed by MSB. So in 2244, the LSB is 44 and the MSB is, MSB is 22. So here also, the number we have taken in BX is 00D6. So the LSB of the data is D6, the MSB is 00. See, after this, okay, we will be getting the quotient and the reminder. For this calculation, we have taken, we, have, we got the quotient as 2, right? the reminder as D4. So when it goes to the location, how it will happen? First, LSB of the data will be moving, followed by the MSB. Thank you all.